Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Indian School of Physics. This is Nitin here and today I have come up with a very interesting and uh, perfect candidate for uh, JE advanced type of exam. Uh, this question is from the Pathfinder under the section of challenge your understanding but this was a relatively easy problem I felt. Here is the statement of this question. Consider a long current carrying cylindrical conductor of radius R. Current density J inside the conductor is uniform over its cross section. Uh, did you suitable expression for force of interaction per unit length between the two halves that are obtained by divide, dividing the conductor by a plane containing the axis of the conductor? So this is the question here. Uh, let's discuss the concept part here. The concept is very simple and very elementary one. The force on a current carrying wire in the magnetic field. So we all know that if there is a current carrying conductor and it is placed in the magnetic field so if we take a small element of dl so force on this is a small element is given by ideal cross b so this is the formula which we are going to use in uh, solving the problem so first we need to calculate what is the field inside this uh, cylinder and this cylinder can be assumed as if it is made of many cylindrical shells and cylindrical shell can be assumed as if many small small wires are placed along a circle so these two logics i am going to use here so in the next part let's find out uh, magnetic field inside the solid cylinder so we want to calculate magnetic field at a distance of radial distance of uh, small r inside the cylinder so we are going to use uh, ampere's law for it and here you can see if current is uh, into the plane this uh, field is going to be tangential and due to symmetry you can say its magnitude is going to be same so this b dot dl this value is going to be mu naught times current through uh, radius of r in this cross section how much current is flowing that we have to calculate so b dot dl will become b into 2 pi r mu naught times current inside i can simply write current per unit area multiplied by area of this cross section so when i simplify this i get b is equal to mu naught j r by 2 more precisely i can write this b in inside in this form also you can see this vector b i can write it as mu naught vector j cross r by 2 2 i can write in this form uh, as well so i hope it is clear to everyone however here i am just uh, taking the numerical value of uh, this one so that value is mu naught j r by 2 and the the magnetic field is tangential to this uh, circle this cross section it, and direction also i have shown now in order to calculate this uh, uh, force what I have to do is I am going to take uh, a cylindrical shell inside this uh, radius of this is R and thickness is uh, dr so if I take a small wire and I'm considering L length of the wire that means into the plane length of this cylinder is L and which is large enough I'm taking that wire so this wire is having current di i can simply write this di current is given by j into area of this part area of this part so area of this part will be its length is rd theta and with this uh, dr so i can write j rd theta into dr now rest of the um, uh, current elements will apply a force on it i know the value of magnetic field at this point which i have calculated in the earlier part and value was mu naught vector j cross r by 2 or simply mu naught j r by 2 so this wire is going to experience a force and uh, direction of uh, this di current is going into the plane so dl vector will be taken into the plane magnetic field b is uh, along the tangent to the circle so if you check direction of uh, dl cross r using right hand uh, rule dl cross b sorry because df is that is i dl cross b so dl is into the plane and b is this side so dl cross b will be pointing in this direction similarly i'll have another uh, element here 
on this force will be in this direction because here force uh, here it is in this direction all right i think it is uh, clear to everyone so now i can write this dfs ideal cross b and uh, if i calculate the magnitude of it so di is j r d theta into dr uh, this dl is the length of wire i'm assuming as l and b is mu naught j r by 2 angle between them is 90 degree so this is the magnitude of this df i am going to get here uh, you can uh, read it as mu naught j square l by 2 r dr d theta now here you can see due to these two elements the df sin theta components is going to get cancelled only this df cos theta component will be added together so this f net i can simply write it as integral df cos theta and this integral i have to perform on this half ring on this half circle i have to perform this integral that means theta limit will go from minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 let's see here uh, limit of r will go from 0 to capital r limit of theta will go from minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 so this integral will become uh, 2 and this will become uh, here I think I have missed uh, one term I have missed here okay here you can see this is uh, r square dr you can see here one r from here one r from here and uh, here also I am going to write r square so when I simplify this this is going to give us r cube by 3 and from here i'll get 2 this 2 and 2 gets cancelled so i'm going to get this f net as mu naught j square l r cube by 3 this is the force on length l of the cylinder so if i have to uh, uh, in the question i have to uh, write force per unit length so this force per unit length i can simply write it as mu naught j square r cube by 3 this is going to be the answer for my problem i hope this part is clear to everyone this is the answer and uh, this is it in this problem and uh, we can do the same analysis for variable uh, charge density also suppose this j is given as a function of r here j is given constant they can give j as a function of r that problem will be slightly challenging here there is one more approach we can use that is the using concept of magnetic pressure i have derived it by elementary method you can use uh, magnetic pressure concept also in order to derive it so if you have understood this question and if you have enjoyed the solution provided then please leave a like share this with other students and if you haven't subscribed my channel subscribe it and thanks for watching I'll come up very soon with another amazing video. Thank you.